Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Sway the Spire, shall we? Picking up where we left off with our guide for complete beginners, and now it's the defect on Ascension 4. Let's roll. Hello, Will. Okay. Well, looks like we didn't do well the last time. Um, I'm always going to take Niall's Lament, which is enemies in our next three combats have 1 HP. And let's see if we got a good path for that. Who are we fighting? It is the Hexaghost. Um, if we go this way, there's a very good chance we will be able to snipe one elite. However, um, we would only get one elite. Which is not very good. Um, that being said, there's... Ugh. Yeah, we'd have to go for this elite to try to get two. There's only one path to get to. Um, so we're going to go here, do this. And we're going to start right here. Hi, buddy. All right, what do we got? 19 gold and... Um, I don't really have anything I want to rebound. A charge battery is just a decent defensive card. It's fine. Uh, we will lose... Oh, we got it on the first one. Oh, look at that. We can hold five potions. That's interesting to try to lean into. Um... I'd like to upgrade a card, please, and we're going to upgrade Zap. I love upgrading Zap with the defect. Just make it free. You get to play it every time. This is going to be a mediocre shop, unless, of course, there's a defragment on sale. All right. So this is uh, just about the best power you can get here, um, and we'll take it. And then we need some damage. I think a compile driver is pretty solid. Good. Good. We'll go over here. Oh, tremendous. Ooh. All right, we're getting really lucky. All right, so we got the anchor. We're going to go here to get this elite, and we're going to upgrade a different card. And we're going to upgrade the fragment to be two focus. And we're going to fight this elite, who, well, has one hit point. Goodbye. Oh, great. And we get a lantern, lots of energy, first potion. Um, and we already took a charge battery. Auto shield is okay, but, you know, we've got Anchor. Um, a cool headed is fine because it's decent. It's not great in Act 1, but we have a um, compile driver, so it helps us draw cards. Um, we will anger the mushrooms and fight them and try to get this. But look at this. We still had Niall's Lament, so even this fight becomes mere child's play. Amazing. All right. Man, they're only giving us defense. Uh, I'll take one leap over a reinforced body. Reinforced body is cool, but sometimes it can bite you if you don't want to spend that much energy on it. Um, Ancient T set is just fine. And now we fight our first elite. Good, we get to defrag right away. Um, we're going to end turn. We want to set up before we fight this guy by putting at least um, a zap on here. Okay. And he's going to pop with these two, so we're going to dual cast right now. Wake him up, hit, and hit, and let's go. Okay, we can charge. We can leap, and cool headed actually gives us a full block. Ooh, that was a really lucky draw. Zap this guy. Alright. Um, we want to charge battery and defend, and then we're dual cast for sure, and smash this guy. I don't think we need to use a potion right here. We're going to be okay. Compile driver, draw two. Um, cool headed is fine. Um, yeah, we'll still zap, even though we don't really need armor, but we just want to do damage right here. All right, dual cast is game over. There it is. Beautiful. Ooh, Preserved Insect is terrific for fighting elites. Now, there's no more elites for us to fight, unfortunately, but that's okay. I'm going to take a Streamline. When you still need some more damage, this is a great damage card. Um, and speaking of Streamline, we're going to go right down here, and we're going to upgrade it. 20 damage. And uh, I'm going to continue to try to dodge elites. Or, I'm sorry, hallway fights. Oh, that didn't really work, did it? They're attacking us for 16. 
but we have six energy because of our T set. So we almost block. We also have 10 block from our anchor. We're going to compile gyro, draw a card. Oh, all right. Well, um, we could take no damage. Um, but instead, what I can just do is kill this guy. Now we definitely take no damage. Pop this guy. And we win. There's nothing this fool can do. Tremendous. I'm thinking. I'll take one to Google for the eyes. I just love the card. Very nice to be that defensive sometimes. So we can afford to defrag and defend full block on this jaw worm and hit him again. Don't forget about our extra energy from the lantern. Saving up potions if we can afford to because we have the potion belt. We're going to zap, charge battery, hit, and just hope to draw. Well, streamline, dual cast, either of those things, kill this guy. Uh, don't I have those cards around here? Anyway, there they are. They were buried at the bottom. Wow, biased cognition is tremendous. Always love it. Okay. Annoying fight. But we can biased cognition, cool headed. And now we have 16 block against 20 damage coming in. That's a full block. And then we'll just hit um, this one. Alright, so this guy wants to hit us, but goodbye. We'll defrag. Um, I'm going to hit this guy. I don't know if I'll be able to kill him. But our bias cognition says it doesn't matter. Uh, and yeah, we actually do kill him with our lightning. Sick. Ball lightning is tremendous. Now we're cooking. I think making dual cast free is just perfect. All right, here we go. We got six energy. And we have a lot of health, so this guy's going to hit us really hard next turn. Uh, we'll play this for sure, just to cheapen it. Get this going. Play that. I don't think we need to use this, this fight at all. It's going to end the turn. Okay, so we biased cognition and zap. And then compile driver. Okay. We're just going to get hurt right here. I mean, there's just not much we can do about it. I will drink it, fine. Ow. Needed that last turn. We gotta kill this guy before our biased cognition wears off. Okay, good. So we got a little help here. Okay. Almost got this guy. A couple more streamlines. All right. We're getting down low, unfortunately, but... I'm not going to play Compile Driver. Um, I don't want to get a card that I can't afford. Did it. Yeah. Thunderstrike is okay. It's not great. I'll take a Fusion Hammer all day long. Sweet. 
So that was an easy Act 1. And here we are, on to Act 2. And we're going to fight the Chosen. And we have a lot of money, but we want to find Elites because of our Preserved Insect. So this is three Elites right through here. I like this. Shop um, over here and into the Elites. And we'll start here. Alright. So, we're going to go to this shop with our 300 money. Go here... But we need to then go right to fight one elite, two elites, and possibly the uber elite. Um, oof. But if we take the second elite, we have all these hallway fights. It's going to be interesting to see how we do with our uh, run up to that point. So this guy wants to hit us for 12, but our anchor is saving us. And in general, you know, as we've talked about, biased cognition is a timing thing. It's so incredibly powerful, but if in a longer fight you use it too early, it will ruin you. So, you have to be mindful of that, but this fight, even though this guy has 100 health, um, it is fair enough to just use this right away. Plus, we have 5 energy, which is just insane. So, we're going to use this, and we're going to give this guy ball lightning, and streamline, and dual cast... And then we'll play Leap, and we'll take no damage, and this guy is going to be, you know, um, in a horrible state. We'll com um, Yes, we'll Compile Driver first. Typically, you want to play cards that draw cards first, so you can get see what your options are before you spend your energy. But sometimes with Compile Driver, what you want to do is see if you can create another orb of a different type so that you can draw more cards, but I didn't have that option. So we'll just do this. We'll strike. We'll play charge battery now to get an extra energy next turn, and we will pass. So this guy's going to put his curse on us, but it won't matter. Um, this is kind of fun. Uh, here you go. Take 21 damage. Okay. Now, what do we want? Um, recycle is actually pretty fun. You know, you can, can make your deck incredibly small with something like this. I like it. Uh, we don't need another leap, and we don't have enough orbs to make Barrage good. I don't think we've actually done Recycle very much. This might have been a new, more recent card that we unlocked with the defect. We certainly haven't played it very much in the guide series. It's not a must card, but I'm going to take it to show you guys what it's like when we use it. Um, and we're going to go to the shop. Okay, they have another defragment. Oh god, but they have an ice cream cone. Bah. I want that defragment so bad, but um, ice cream just can't be passed up in this situation. Ice cream is so good with the defect because of cards like Turbo, and we already have um, the Lantern and the T-Set, so we're going to get a ton of energy, and to be able, like we have, you know, the energy potion, to be able to sandbag it is just too good, so we'll buy it, and we can't afford a sweeping beam. Um, I'm actually going to buy Sweeping Beam because I don't have very much AoE, but it also has a card draw on it, um, which, if we have extra energy, is very nice to, you know, be able to do some damage and draw a card. So we'll go over here. You know, Sweeping Beam is good in this fight. When we drew it, perfect. All right, so when you get into a fight like this, uh, remember that with Go for the Eyes, kind of one of the reasons we took it, you can completely neutralize the damage that these guys will do. So I'm going to target uh, the weakest one there, and now he's going to do zero. Uh, so it kind of rounds down with the weakness, and so he's going to hit us for nothing. We'll get hit for six by that guy, but we have ten blocks, so we don't care. Um, we're going to play Defragment, and then we'll sweep. Okay? And we do have enough to take somebody out of the sky, and it's going to be this guy. And we don't need to play Leap. And remember, we actually don't want to play Leap because of our Ice Cream Cone. So the Ice Cream Cone conserves energy between turns. So you are looking at your energy in a different way. All right. And not wasting it. So right here, what we can do is just streamline. We could kill this guy if we really want to. Streamline's not going to kill any of these guys that are flying, unfortunately. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to streamline this guy. I'm going to strike this guy. And I'm actually going to 
drink the attack potion uh, so that uh, I only have one orb. I was really, really... Uh, no, this is still good. So, I can't kill the guy, but I can knock him out of the sky and stop his attack. The reason I drank the attack potion... Remember, my kind of rule of thumb, and this is a sloppy rule, but it's it's served me well, is, like, if a potion can get me 10 or more health, then I'm going to use it most of the time. I already have four potions up here. And in this case, if I don't knock this guy down, he's going to hit us for a ton. So, if I do this then he is not only knocked down and nearly dead, we don't take any damage anymore. I'm going to charge battery um, so that we take no damage and we get an energy next turn. And then I'm actually going to recycle. And we're doing this because um, it's a net zero on energy, but it will thin our deck so we don't draw this basic defend again, which we don't need in this situation. And we'll end the turn. So Recycle is like, I give you an energy, and then I exhaust a card. And it's actually really good. You get to choose what card you exhaust, because it could be a status card, some kind of debuff that you don't want, or even like something like Thunderstrike, if I need energy, and I'm not going to use this, it could be very helpful. Uh, I'm going to play Zap. We're going to Compile Driver uh, on this guy. And we're going to strike this guy so he's dead if we dual cast. I don't want to hit him. Um, we've only channeled two lightning, which is awful, but whatever. And um, I will play this. There we go. I just wanted to kill that guy. That's fantastic. I'm not going to play either of these. We're just going to pass and save our energy with our ice cream for next turn. And this guy's dead. Okay, so we take no damage. We get a potion back, an energy potion, which with our ice cream cone is so sick. And we get this. Okay, so um, I'm not going to take any of this. Beam Cell is not really super exciting. Um, I already have a Compile Driver. And Reprogram is not a card that I really care for too much. So I'm just going to skip. All right. The Augmenter. Um, so we could take Jax, transform two cards, or obtain the Special Relic, which gives us three strength at the uh, first turn. And transforming cards is actually probably pretty good for us. But I like the, um, hmm, do I? What is my deck going for? It's a slower deck. I kind of like plus three strength on the first turn just because I have the anchor, so I don't have to worry about as much as playing defensive cards. Um, but I'm actually going to transform some cards because I have, I need some higher impact cards. So I'm going to um, get rid of one strike and one defense. Oh, yes. So we got... And those cards actually work really well together. We got a Capacitor and a Consume. So this is terrific. That was a, a very, very nice. Now we need to go to the right here. And we're fighting Sneko. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and definitely put up this. Um, I'm going to start getting rid of some cards. I'm going to get rid of uh, this Defend here. Remember, things that cost one against the Sneko are not great. Because... His effect will generally make them more expensive, so exhausting them is useful. Um, I'm just going to hit him. I thought about playing my Strength Potion there, but I'm not going to. Ah, so brutal. Okay, so I need both of these in play. And I'm going to drink an energy potion, and I'm going to leap and defend. Mmm. Look at this. Every single card. Like, this card somehow didn't get reduced in price, which costs three. And yet, you know, this is more expensive. This is too expensive. But what can you do? So we're going to... Uh, I didn't draw defend. Mm. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to hit him. Um, 
I'm actually not going to strike. I'm going to save this energy for next turn. Okay. Um, we need to start going fast. I'm playing this. Okay, we got a free thing, finally. We have been getting pretty unlucky. I got to play this right away. We're going to play that, and we're going to strike for free. We got to kill this guy immediately. Okay, good. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Um, here's a free... Um, and Recycle is very good against the Sneko because I can play it, for example, on this and get three energy. He, like, made it way more expensive than it needs to be. And we win. There we go. So we got out of that pretty light. Got a duplication potion, which is so good. Uh, we want to skim with uh, the ice cream cone for sure. All right. Find some potions. Great. Oof. Amtropic brew with the potion belt. Heck yeah. All right, now we have to think, is there anything that we want to ditch? Liquid bronze can straight up win certain fights, but we already had the birds. Um, I'm okay with, with what we've got, but that's awesome. Okay, so now um, we actually want to go to the right because we want the campfire. Oh, no, we don't want the campfire. I forgot about the fusion hammer. Derp. Okay, well, we'll take the key. Let's go. It's better than a hallway fight. All right, well, this is where liquid bronze would have been nice. Okay, so what are we going to do on this guy? No problem. We're going to streamline. Charge battery. Um, I have a lot. I'm going to skim right now because I want to get, get stuff like this. Uh, sweeping beam is fine. And okay, we didn't really draw exactly what I was looking for, but that's all right. I need some of, like, my powers. Here we go. Here they are. Oh, this guy. I, I didn't draw any of my defensive stuff this turn. Uh, this is kind of scary. Okay, so... I'm going to play this. Oof. I was really hoping to get something defensive. <sighs> I could have duplicated biased cognition, I suppose. Now we're just going to get hit. The guy's dead. We just got unlucky on that last turn with what we drew. Ah, uh, well, that'll help us rest. Okay, so when you have the ice cream cone, the turbo is insane because it gives you two energy and it stacks up and then um it's ethereal so you lose one energy with the void card but it's still a gain on energy and you can't lose it so it's never a waste um so it's very very good and plus if we can get the card to double our energy then we'll just be you know living the dream um we're gonna go ahead and take the the blue key here and we will go to this fire. I'm going to rest. It's, I mean, whatever. It makes this elite and these two hallway fights more manageable. I want to try to take this guy down. Okay. Because we have the preserved insect to make these easier. So, right away, um, what do we want to do? I think it's totally reasonable just to use Blessing of the Forge right here to upgrade these cards. And then we will zap, and we will cool-headed. 
We will sweep. Okay. We still didn't draw very much defense, but we do have our uh, anchor going. Let's see if we could take somebody down. I want to see if I could kill this dude. We have three channeled. Oh, we did it. We have to drink an energy potion, but that's more than fine. So now, um, we take no damage. And this fight's almost over. One potion, no, two potions, eh. This is a tough fight. I'll, I'll be okay with it. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, turbo, bias cognition, do this, uh, leap. We won't take any damage, regardless of who we hit with the lightning, and it's over. All right. Uh, we got Nunchaku. Okay, interesting. Um, I mean, this Nunchaku likes this, but I'm going to take Cold Snap Plus all day. Uh, we need something to generate Frost Orbs for us for our card draw with Compile Driver and just in general, Frost Orbs are insane. So that's good. One of those is great. Okay, good start to this fight. Let me sweep. Uh, compile Driver. Bias Cognition is kind of weird right here. With dual cast on hand, no orbs behind. I'm going to play Strike on this guy. I am going to do Biased Cognition. Okay. I don't need to use my Leap. I'm going to save the energy. And uh, we're going to go ahead and Turbo. Cool-headed. Um, strike. Strike. Defend. We don't need to recycle anything. Defrag is great. That's great. Skim it. Perfect. Streamline. Ball lightning. Cold snap. Charge battery for energy. Well, I guess I didn't need to do that with the ice cream, but still. This guy's almost dead. Capacitor. Alright, so we have um, a chance of killing this dude. Oh. Um. This is a full block. This is a partial block, but more damage. Let's do it. There we go. Alright, so this guy wants to try to attack us. Fine, be that way. It's over for you, buddy. We don't need to exhaust Void. It does it on its own. Alright. And Barrage Plus is very good, given that we have uh, a capacitor. Or, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Good. I'll take it. This is a hard fight. Okay, we, we might take some damage in this fight, but that's okay. Here we go. This is where the fun begins. So we're going to take a ton of damage from this dude. Uh, because we're going to kill this guy. It's less damage than if we left him alive. Uh, you know what? I'm, I've got this Entropic Brew. Let's um, make use of it. So this is, you know, kind of wild. But I'm going to drink this just to duplicate, defend so that I can play this 
either in this fight or the next fight to take advantage of uh, everything I've got over here. Okay, go for the eyes is phenomenal against this idiot. I do not want to do this. Um... Because I want that orb to still be there next turn. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. We needed that. Skim. Streamline. We're blocking for full, by the way. And we're just breaking this guy's armor. Um... He's dead. Okay. Fire potion is cool. Do I want recursion? Scrape is actually interesting. Um, it can be maddening if you draw cards that you want, though. I'm okay. I don't need any of this. All right. Let's go fight the Uber. Okay. So, in this situation, what we want to do is just blow up this guy with the fire potion right away. I'm going to drink this potion, and I'm going to Entropic Brew. Okay. Just to, you know, be ready. Oh, my God. We got another Entropic Brew. Yes. And now we can draw two. That guy is dead. Defragment is just about perfect. Uh, we don't want to get rid of... We don't want to recycle Thunderstrike. That's good for us right now. And we'll just do that. Okay, he's going to try to help his buddies. We're going to buy his Cognition. Zap. Strike. Go. Alright, here come his dudes. So this is a situation where we might have to use some potions. We'll see how this goes. Uh, we're going to, first of all, just immediately weaken this dork. And... We might be able to actually kill the guy right now. So what I'm going to do is um, see who I hit with my lightning. Skim. Sweep. Cool-headed. Okay. Capacitor is good. Oh, we're so close. Um, I it's a fifty fifty shot, so I kind of have to just do this and just pick up any, you know. This is fine. Any attack card is fine. Got it. Wow. They really want us to play attacks. Now we have all the keys. Flex potion. Um, I guess I'm okay with another ball lightning now, given what we've got. We're going to go over here. Um, this is, you know, not necessary, but we'll heal up. Sure, we've got a pillow. And here we go. It's the Collector. This is tremendous. So, first things first. Uh, most of these cards are upgraded, so we don't need Blessing of the Forge right now. But I'm going to play this to see what I get. Okay, we cheapen this. Uh, I'm going to drink a Power Potion. I actually do not want Biased Cognition this early in the fight. Got my strength up. Save my energy. Again, I'm going to wait on Biased Cognition. It's just too early. Uh, I can't kill anybody. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Though. I've got this Entropic Brew. So, I'm going to try to lean into that if I need it. We 
we will be taking damage. Ow. Okay. Sweep. Uh, pretty interesting. Two. Um, cool headed. There you go. Defrag. Skim. Six. We boost ourselves. Um, let's do this. And here you go. I'm not going to recycle Thunderstrike. I'm going to keep it. It's just us now, buddy. Oh, this is amazing. All right. This guy wants to be saucy. We're going to give him some sauce. Uh, okay. All right, let's try to take somebody down. Um, I need to play this to raise my strength. We have a full block. Uh, I'm going to recycle the leap. Here comes the damage turn. Let's see what we can do. All right, we killed one guy immediately, which is great. Um, we will turbo right away. I'm going to sweep. It's time to turn it up with bias cognition 100%, and I will cool-headed. Oh, that was not the draw that we were looking for. This is such a waste of damage on this idiot, but we need to kill him. We actually are going to block pretty reasonably for this. It's fine. All right, he got lucky with uh, what we drew. We're drawing, drawing, drawing. This is for you. This is for you. And we'll do this. Here you go, buddy. This is for you. And this. And then it's over. Tremendous. Great. So we're alive. What do we want? All for one is kind of interesting. I have these two at zero. I have this at zero. I have this at zero. Yeah, all for one is sick. So we're going to take all for one because we want to just grow with our Shuriken, um, our Nunchaku, and stack energy and strengthen things with our Ice Cream Cone. So this is fine. Honestly, um, an inserter is just great. I don't really want to transform my strikes and defense. It's okay. Uh, I mean, more relics, eh. I think an inserter is just going to be what we need to put us over the edge, where we're just generating so many orbs. Now, we're fighting the Time Eater, which stinks for this, you know, strategy of trying to build up Shuriken, but we just will do it a little bit slower and be fine. Uh, I like this path on the right. We already have all the keys and everything, but just looking at this right away, we have a shop and we have a lot of unknowns, so we'll stick over here. Everybody, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. We're going to try to make a run at this here. I will check you in the next one. Take care.